Dear Howard, I hope you are well. I'm writing to get your thoughts on a patient of mine that might benefit from a high throughput sequencing of his genome. This is a unique situation. This patient is very ill and has been in the hospital since January. Yet, he might be curable if we can make a molecular diagnosis of his illness. Here is the story. It was one of those emails that makes you pause and think for a moment. It did capture my interest uh, and from there it was just a question of, well, I need to get a hold of Alan and figure out how do we do this. Uh, I thought it would be a great idea because I really wanted to find out a diagnosis for Nick. I wanted them to find something. It was a thought in my mind all along that this can't possibly come from a normal genome. Then I think the aha moment occurred to me when I realized, hey, wait a second, we have the technology to figure this out. So Howard called a meeting um, and he invited a number of people to it. I pulled together uh, people that were interested in generating the data and analyzing the data and then a couple of the clinical uh, people. I mean, so Howard basically said to everybody, Think we, if, you, if we think we can do it as a group, then let, let's just do it and whatever it takes, we'll, we'll get it done. There was no loss to trying. Um, if we didn't find it, um, it didn't help Nick or his family. Uh, if we did find it, there was the potential to help Nick and his family. So in this case, what we did is we compared Nick's sequence to a reference DNA and say, well, this is what your, you know, typical healthy person's DNA looks like. And then across um, a whole bunch of other animals that also carry the same type of gene. The um, severity of Nick's condition uh, suggested that it had to be unique. The analogy was it's a proverbial needle in a haystack. I mean, you know, uh, as it turns out, there was one variation uh, out of hundreds of millions of possible places that we looked. And the fact that we didn't see this one change in any other animal all the way down to the fruit fly uh, or any other human suggested that it was likely to be the cause. The different illnesses I think that they were testing him for, you know, frightened me. Um, and they were nothing, you know, most of them were controllable um, with medicine or treatments, um, but nothing compared to what the, what the end result or the end diagnosis. Um, actually was and the end treatment.